Hello everybody that is here. Today I would like to make a little experiment that I have a personal interest in. But I decided to make extra effort, set up a camera and take you along the ride. So we can do it together. So what's happening is backstory why I'm doing this. Those of you who watched my retro build remember that in the end I a little bit complained that system loud. Well that in a way it's expected because I moved from 1000 RPM fans to 2000 RPM fans uh, in order to get temperatures down. So the rig is ice cold but a little bit annoyingly noisy. There are a few reasons why I think it's happening and one of them is I think maybe case resonates or maybe MNPCTA custom grill a little bit too close to the blades of the fans and this little gap is kind of create additional noise there. So I will look into this a little bit further, maybe modify system slightly when I put a proper liquid in it. I still running on the distilled water, which is not cool. Don't follow me in that department. Better to put proper liquid as soon as possible. But I also thought that as long as I maybe disassemble my computer a little bit, maybe I look what else is available in terms of the computer fans on the market. And some time ago we had a little discussion on Dasmod forum when one of the customers said that like gentle typhoons is not king of the hill anymore it's like kind of old fan and nocturne took the crown and basically it's a silent most silent fan on the market at this point plus it outperforms gentle typhoon on a number of characteristics so I'm usually quite paranoid about claims uh, that like some new product uh, overtake proven technology. It can be the case, but in most cases it's the marketing bullshit. So I quickly look into specifications that provide by Nocture. I look also on uh, basically contracts that I had with uh, Nidex server and when they produced the fans and I compared the best model from Nocture which is NFA1225. So this one considered as an absolutely beast. Compare it with all the fan on Gentle Typhoon AP60. Both has a similar characteristics. And this is supposed to be a little bit faster, just 500 RPM than this one, but nevertheless, they're very, very close. And even if you look on the fans, you can see the blade design and everything extremely similar. So in my expectation, that fans are supposed to be very similar. So I looked on all those numbers and specifically two items. So I have this piece of paper. So what I got, so for airflow, Nocture official stuff that they advertise on the website is 102 cubic meters per hour when Nidex server Gentle Typhoons is 105 so you see it's like very minor difference but this fan is supposed to be a little bit faster so so this is in line with my expectations next static pressure for Nocture is 2.3 millimeters H2O this one is 2.8 again a little bit more on general typhoon side but again it's faster fan so more pressure because as i said that fans visually so similar it can be no miracles that similar looking fans will produce such a drastic difference but one thing that caught my attention immediately is that noise levels that claims by Nocture is in just crazy low so they say 22 decibels no word what the distance from the measuring device nothing when ap60 from gentle typhoons is 34 so 10 decibels that's a lot and that caught my attention especially keeping in mind that i have problem with my personal rig so i bite the bullet and I spend over 100 bucks Canadian on three fans that potentially I can put in my rig. The few things that I actually like about this fan before we go any test. First of all, it coming with those rubber corners that already will reduce any resonance towards the case. I have a gasket, but nevertheless. So this one out of the box give you opportunity to lower your noise level. So that's already promising. That's 
besides the fact that we're going to test right now because right now we will be testing freestanding fans so all those additional things wouldn't pl make zero play in my test at this point but when you install the fan things like installing your rubber gasket or foam gasket versus or having fans that already have a gasket pre-installed that can make actually quite a bit of difference so that's a good thing that they provide you right away and you have it already installed with every fan if you look on the packaging so i quickly would like to run what they're providing it the reason for that is that those fans are outrageously expensive the best price i found was 38 dollars which is like almost 40 bucks this is crazy while gentle typhoons are not half but it's like 20 dollars so you know like 38 and 20 it's kind of big difference so in order to justify it you have to have something right so and i think the one big part of the reason why noctua is so expensive is that you get over the top packaging this is like pinnacle of waste in my opinion because you have this crazy packaging the box that have a one opening side with all the marketing stuff you have other stuff with all marketing stuff and on top of so so this is packaging pretty expensive and on top of that with the fan you have additional rubber gasket which very nice that's actually more preferred to use this one instead of corners when you use it on radiators because it provides you proper insulation so this is very smart so they didn't just leave it as it is they provide specific items that are recommended for water coolers you also get rubber noise insulating mounting still brown color but what you can say so standard screws that comes with any fan and they also have for god's sake three additional cables so you have extension cable you have a cable with a resistor that allows you to lower speed of your fan and lower the noise without need for any controller and you even have a splitter if you want to use it for a couple fans so basically you get three cables gasket and mounting device this probably will count for quite a few dollars in terms of the price and as i understood there are no option then you can buy, buy this fan like kind of in a bulk i think that in most cases it will be a little bit waste obviously box is very cool but that goes to garbage how many of those cables you really need if you buy one fan it's cool but if you buy several that you have a bunch of those cables it probably will might go to the garbage as well so you see it's a little bit overkill in my opinion but to the degree it justify why it's so damn expensive yeah you have like cadillac packaging i wasn't sure what kind of bearing noctua has because they have uh, some like fancy names for it but not really any meat what it is i I'm just trying to find wh where it is sso2 bearing and it's like it's the best but no like what it is who god knows i still suspect that it's some kind of uh, sleeve type of bearing because if you look on gentle typhoons which has a ball bearing so you spin it and ball bearing essentially it spins forever when you spin the fan which has this friction based low friction based bearing you can see that stops much slower speed and benefit is sleeve type of bearing always quieter so this can be additional advantage for this fan for quietness that we're actually looking for so I hope to find some sort of miracle because they say 10 dB difference but did they measure it 5 meters away or half meter away or 25 centimeters away as it's clearly stated in a data sheet for the gentle typhoon who god knows but I hope I can find fans that is a significantly lower noise and maybe maybe I will switch I, I already paid over 100 bucks for three pieces it's exactly what I need so if they prove to be absolutely beast I will absolutely have no reservation to put it in my rig even despite this 
colors that a little bit killing the things because I don't think I will go to paint them just to satisfy uh, my OCD here. So I just will switch if they allow slow speed, oh, sorry, low noise. So anyways, this was a long talk, but I hope you get a little bit of rationale that I had behind the story. So what we're going to do, I'll reposition cams that hopefully it will be awful angle for me. <laughs> But I hope you can see the numbers on this Telma tool that I can measure the noise. And we're going to start with this uh, Sun Ace fan. It's 38 millimeters, but why I want to start with this is just to kind of register noise level of one of the most noisiest fans that uh, enthusiasts used. So Sun Ace or Delta is the absolute beast but the type of the ball bearings they use, like I think a double or triple, it's, it's really noisy, so especially when they spin. So we will measure that. Then I would like to just, uh, for sake of experiment, because I already set everything up, I would like to measure noise level for Vardar. Hopefully everything is the same speed levels. And the Vardar will represent very popular fan that a lot of people are using, and it's kind of standard type of uh, fan with a sleeved bass bearing. So it's supposed to be much, much more lower noise than Sun Ace. And we measure Gentle Typhoon. And finally, the fourth fan that I will measure will be our Nocture. Hopefully the miracle will come. We all rejoice on that matter. Barely in the frame and possibly out of focus because I locked my focus on the display. So you can see what's going on and I probably will stand up anyways to see it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we have my controller right there. So what first thing I would like to establish is uh, what kind of the speed this fan is rotating. Just at maximum. And that will be the number that I will try to meet. So I'm not going to underworld Nocture. I'll just use it as it is. Make sure it's on the maximum. Okay, so I think uh, we can safely say that it's more or less stabilized at 2130, 2130 RPMs. So that's the number that we're going to try to shoot for, so to speak. Right, first monster. My approximate distance is 25 centimeters. I try to measure it the best I can. Obviously, it's not a lab environment. Lots of noises and things like this. So it's not will be precise test, but if the huge difference exists, we'll see it. If it's plus minus something and conclusive, then it's also a result. But let's don't get focused on fraction of decibels or even on one, one or two decibels, because I think that in a room, that noise balancing and dog can start barking behind the wall can disturb our testings, but nevertheless, we do the best we can. All right, this 3000 RPM, which is not what we want. We want 2130. But you already can hear that this is quite a noisy fan. It was a darling for quite a few years for people who was enthusiastically cooling the systems with the 38 millimeter fans. Now it's very exotic choice. You don't see this stuff a lot. It's kind of tricky to to tune it properly. It doesn't seem really can do it. Well, that's good enough. 2140. So let's start the system. Actually, I would like to write down results. Okay. My notepad. So what are we going to do now? While saying blah, 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 I'm going to move to minimum number. Actually, let me see, level is 80, 30, level is 30, the slowest this, this thing can go. 
and uh, I'm going from measuring maximum to minimum and just shut up and wait. That's good enough. 50.1 50.1 goes to our Sun Ace 21.40 Okay How many times I almost cut my finger with this thing? Very dangerous fans. That's the years when fan grill was really mandatory. Okay. Alrighty. So the second unit would be would be okay. Wow, day and night. Ooh, that's fast fan too, 21. Interesting enough that the kind of tone level, I don't know if you can hear it properly on a, on a mic, but I think it's kind of similar to Sun Ace, minus rattling of the ball bearing itself. 21.30, perfect exactly what I wanted so again I'm talking and shifting to minimum level so 78 1 2 3 4 5 Wow this is unexpected for 49.1 Uh, hmm. I'm surprised, honestly, I expected not one decibel difference. So this is really odd. This but that what what we get, that we get. Okay, now let's look on two fans that I actually mostly interested in, the one that Similar model I have installed, a little bit slower than this one. So let's see what we get. The maximum rotation speed. Okay, 22. This is, you can hear that it's much less noise than previous two. 2140, 2130, 2130, yes, yes, no, yes. Seems like it's stabilized, 2130. So now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Forty-four point six. okay. 44.6 goes to GT AP60 The one thing that I just don't like on GT in this particular test is that the noise that fan produced was a little bit high pitched so the other two was uh, frequency was lower, was a little bit more pleasant for for the ear. Uh, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Wow, this is quiet. So I'm really interested to hear what we get. This is amazingly, but why? No. Yeah, a, little bit neat, a little bit faster than that. Yeah. 2140. 50. What's going on? Come on. Okay. 2130. And uh, we're switching from uh, uh, maximum. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6.
Okay, 43.5, 43.5, almost one decibel less than GT, and this will be, oh my god, what is this, 812.25, 812.25. All right, here we go. It was proven that this fan was the least loud out of all four checked. There are no 10 decibel miracle, which is a total marketing horseshit, but it's a good fan because noise is low, pressure characteristics, Similar to Gentle Typhoon, that is known one of the best fans for radiators, and it actually has a lower frequency of the noise itself, which less less disturbing for my ear. So that's that's not bad choice. Now everything boils to the fact if 38 bucks justifiable for one decibel or it's not justifiable I think that everybody can make their call based on their own financial situation and other beliefs that may have all right guys that's uh, was good result here you go show you what I got I need to digest it myself, but definitely will share with you the result of this video. It was very interesting. Very interesting. I see you soon with more stuff.